going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Once again, we're in the Gallardo and once again, we are driving to Columbus, Ohio. It's time to say goodbye to the Gallardo, which is an awesome, fun little car. I can't even see. So it's been raining for about 100 miles straight and it's not looking like it's gonna stop either. But we are once again on our way to our good buddy Will's house. But we got about 15 miles left and I can't leave my man Will hanging. He lent me his car graciously. We gotta fill up the tank at least. Hello, Will Motivation. I don't think he wants to let me in. So I go back to Pittsburgh with my Lambo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good, man? I'm outside your front door, bro. Uh, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> All right. He's probably going to the garage, but that's not where I'm at. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Come on in, man. Thanks, man. All right, so we're back in the Skittles garage. We got the Huracan, the Events door. We're uh, dropping off the Gallardo. Huge thanks to my man Will for uh, my hooking me up, lending me. The poor guy, he just woke up. I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do now is jump in his new Gladiator. The guy has like I, I asked him how many cars he has, and he's standing there scratching his head. He can't remember. <laughs> but I think I think it's eight cars. The Mustang's not even here. So we're gonna jump in the Gladiator, and then I'm gonna go get a rental car, and then we're going back to the shop and checking on the F12. First time in a Gladiator. So what are you? What are your plans with this car? Uh, that's where all that stuff is. I got some. Oh yeah, you got new tires and stuff. I like this thing, though. Man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's got, say. it's got kind of a. It feels light. So we drove to Columbus in a Lamborghini. We got a ride to the airport to rent a car in a Jeep Gladiator. Now. <laughs> We're in a freaking minivan. This was the cheapest thing they had. 56 bucks for a Dodge Caravan. Yeah. All right, so we made it. Let's go check on the F12. <laughs> freaking minivan. All right, here it is. And all these little bubbles are out. They stripped the whole paint on the quarter panel, the whole roof, because it's one piece. And they took care of all this corrosion. They went in underneath the quarter panel as well where there was corrosion that you couldn't really see with the naked eye of course unless you're underneath there. On this side and on that side it's been repainted and it looks fantastic. I mean it looks so good. It's still clear broad here on the doors and it probably won't come out on camera but the shade is different because the clear bra is so old here so we're gonna rip the clear bra uh, and have the whole car uh, PPF, but I'm just so happy with how it looks. So it's currently cure. It's been in the the curing booth and everything, but it's going to be sitting here for a few more days. They're still buffing out this side of the car and, and the quarter panel here, but that side is done. I'm just so happy to see the car again, and I can't wait to be back in it. Now it's going to be part of the Pittsburgh International Auto Show in the middle of February. I'm going to give more information on that later on here, but uh, maybe I, I'm going to have to ask the owners. I don't know what they feel about that. I want to get a quick start up. All right, Charlie's going to do the honors here. <laughs> this is a bit close. great to see my car um, and that the paint is done. I'm happy about that, but there's a lot of running around in today's video. We're gonna <laughs> jump back in the minivan, then we're gonna go to the dealership where the car is actually gonna be transported because it needs some service. So, just gotta go right in there, talk to the service advisor, and I'll be right back. All right, so the service stuff has been dealt with. Check out the all-black Bentayga. This thing looks mean. And the interior, oof. That is nice. 259,000. Yeah, this is dope in black. What do you guys think? You got the new Huracan Evo. What do you guys think of the rear end compared to the old Huracans? I actually like the older ones better. I do like the center exhaust though. That looks pretty cool. Up here we got a black one. 
versus the older version. I don't know, yeah. This will probably grow on me and then I'll like this more. But yeah, the A12 is sweet. Got such a different design. Like on my car, it sits right here. Definitely smaller air vents. F12, A12. Which one looks best? F12, A12. So we got a Bentley Flying Spur. We got the new Continental. We got an Aventador. I guess the Continental GT convertible. Man, this has got to be a dream to drive. I'll be uh, reviewing one of these as soon as the weather clears up a little bit. We've got a Urus, completely wrong color in my opinion. And I think this is the first time I'm seeing a Cullinan in real life and this thing is gigantic. It is so big. You can tell that it's a V12 under the hood here. $380,000 for this car. Oof, the interior, holy crap. Yeah, these things are sick. But Bentleys, Emeralds, Royces, Ferraris, Lambos, in all honor, back to reality. <sighs> Dodge Caravan, rental car. Well, look at that. No more Lambo in the garage, finally the M5. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a roof over its head in the ghetto auto vlog household it Says I only have one garage. So we're back home. Uh, the minivan has been dropped off already We finally actually have some little room here in the driveway just the two trucks And like we said the Beamer finally she can sit in the garage for a little while and check this out I just got this in the mail. It's a sample for the new merch website that will soon be launched with all new merch and finally we have hats I've had so many of you guys ask about hats over the years and I've never sold hats and finally we're selling them this is one design by the way I don't really wear hats all that much but I guess I'm gonna have to start now so we have the AV logo embroidered in black this is an all black kind of version and then we have autoblog in the back here this is a like a stretch fit type hat we're gonna have snapbacks all that good stuff we're gonna have stickers phone cases eventually we're also gonna have sweats and camo pants all kinds of cool stuff hoodies you know everything that you need but what we're gonna do now as you guys can see we have the wheels loaded up in the bed of the truck here I'm gonna include the spare one as well that thank God I never had to use so uh, we're gonna meet up with uh, I think his name was Brian he's been driving for five hours <laughs> All right, so we're here at Lowe's and we're looking for a gray F-150 with a Raptor grill. He's supposed to be here any minute. There he is. I see him. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good on his truck. He's got some wheels on there though. They look pretty cool. Oh, he's got an exhaust too. Sick. His is a Lariat. He's got the nicer tail lights too. What's going on, guys? What's up? Huh? Yeah, you're in the vlog. What's up, vlog? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, truck looks good, dude. So it's Brian, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he drove from almost Philly. Yes. Sir. All right. Cool. And his buddy. What was your name again? Daryl. Uh, All right. Dylan. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, he's got a nice truck here, man. He's got the, uh, the Raptor grill. I mean, it's a Lariat, so you don't have to mess around with the headlights or the tail lights like right. I did. So he currently has 20 by 10s. These are nice wheels too. Now he's gonna have 20 by 12s. And it's leveled? Yeah, but... You have a two and a half inch yeah. leveling kit? Yeah. All right, cool. It's not too bad, though. Did yeah, you've you done some cutting here, just like I did. And the bars that came out. Yeah, right, right, oh. right. So I was showing the guys the engine bay here and I hadn't even opened the hood since we went mudding last time. But just look at this. Can't call my truck a mall crawler anymore. <laughs> See you, dude. There he goes. Oh yeah, his truck sounds good. All right, so we got that taken care of as well. Back home, even more room now, and the girls aren't even home. I'm gonna take the Beamer out here soon, but this is the aftermath of doing like mudding and stuff, except for your whole engine bay being completely covered. It just keeps dripping, even though you've washed it, you gotta get under there. God, it's such a job, but 
yeah, looks pretty cool when it's dirty, although it's not dirty now. So uh, again, I'm excited about the, the new merch line that's going to drop. Make sure you guys pick up hat or whatever it is you want whenever it drops. I'm going to let you guys know first, of course. That's going to do it for today's video. A pretty quick one. I'm actually going back to Columbus tomorrow because that's when the Ferrari is going to be arriving for the service. And I'm going to make a, a dedicated video uh, regarding what needs done on the car. And I want all this to be done before the car season starts here. I mean, we got one more month of pure winter. March, anything can happen. We can have 80 degrees. We can have a, a blizzard. But uh, spring is coming here. I hate winter. You guys know that. I want spring to come. Since we're not having a real winter with tons of snow where you can make some fun snow content, at least in the cars, and you know, just being cold, it's, it's useless. Enough bitching about the weather. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you kind of feel like you want to, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.